thumbs up who loves making snowballs. Oh. gonna be nasty oh my god there we go oh shit oh nice hello everyone so today I want to talk about D-Man he's doing the his what I eat in a day videos in Canada it's freezing here as well in Slovakia and he was the one who inspired me uh, to start the no orgasm challenge uh, after I saw his posts on 30balancedday.com and he posted that he wants to do a 30 day uh, challenge without any orgasms and he was posting how he felt and noticed he noticed like he had less cravings for uh, vegan junk food, etc. He was more inclined to eating really healthy raw fruits, vegetables. Uh, I definitely noticed changes for myself, for myself as well. I can more focus on other things and enjoy life more. Whereas if I watch porn or have orgasms regularly, I just see that as the main motivation in my life kind of like addiction, distraction, you know. <clears throat> also what I noticed, the sleep is so much better. I can actually recover much better. And I can put energy more into fitness. So if you are, want to improve in every, any area of your life, I suggest uh, the No Orgasm Challenge or No Fab Challenge. And Derek has definitely something good to say about this. So check out uh, Unconventional Living and let's keep smashing the videos. So if you want to look younger, you definitely no orgasm challenge, you will just rejuvenate. Anyway, Derek has also uh, one thing to say about how he's not anymore an angry vegan and that he just lets people do whatever they do and kind of approach them with the love and that. Uh, but uh, I think I'm not like saying to somebody straight away like you have to go vegan running to people on the street and telling them that but if somebody is like looking for different diets you know change of lifestyle and they're just lost and they find this hardened approach they see the earthlings and that's when the truth comes in their head more rapidly or more clearly than if you sound just say like oh just do whatever works for you you know sometimes this approach yeah like I agree like uh, there is no point being angry about somebody who doesn't give a shit and about their health or ethics nothing like that and there is no point arguing with them about veganism but if uh, if somebody is like on the edge of becoming one or just looking for different diets lifestyles then the durian either harden the fuck up guard the fuck up approach might work just well let me know what you think about this um, I think the man meant something else um, by saying that uh, uh, we shouldn't force people to become vegan or uh, show them in the face um, but again it depends on the people and where they are right now so thanks for watching peace out okay ball, ball number two let's see it's much bigger oh Fuck, oh, Pfft. 
Nice.